youtube.com slash simrace tech hello guys so um, I'm back with a another little video of some Motec stuff that I found out um, in previous videos I've been talking about pushing the M button to show uh, measurements to get uh, the average uh, values of the different channels and different data but I have found out there are statistical functions in the maths of uh, Motec so let's uh, take a look at that here we have uh, a normal Motec window and I'm now going to show you some of my custom maths in here and what they do. So I'm going to open uh, one of my last labs here, was, which was uh, in an Aston Martin around the uh, the Nordschleife Nuremberg ring. It's quite a long lab with a lot of data. So as you can see here, I now have some LMP data and stuff on the rake of the car. Uh, as I said, the attitude of the car, uh, the height in the front and the rear, how it how it's driving, if it's driving tilted forward or or tilted backward. So we're checking that to make sure the diffuser version works uh, as best as possible. So what I've got here is. Um, different math channels uh, set up and for now I have some that show uh, what is mean which is the average the statistical mean and the way I do this is by clicking the maths button up here with the calculator button and then I add new channels um, which start with the sentence stat mean. So I'm going to find here the fast uh, rebound mean in front. So this is the average values of uh, rebound in the front. I'm going to edit this. I'll show you here what this expression looks like. So what it does is it takes uh, fast rebound speed in the front, fast rebound uh, speed in, in front left and front right, divides that by two, and then it finds the statistical mean. So that's stat underscore mean to get the average value of a channel. And this is actually good for plenty of things. You can also find the stat values here. And uh, not only do you have uh, start and end values, you have maximum, minimum, and you have the standard deviation, which is um, the average of how much uh, the values are moving up and down. So if you, um, we can try to add a stat mean to this um, kind of of data here. So we're going to make a copy of the fast rebound front, uh, which is then right click, and let's say copy, and then move down here, and right click in the empty space here and say paste. So now at the bottom here we have a fast rebound front mean uh, version 1. Click that, rename it, let's make this uh, deviation. So it's fast rebound front deviation. And let's find the statistical function. Let's just delete the function we have here. Around that. And then let's find the function here in the functions list. I don't know that's that standard deviation. Let's put that in there. Let's make sure the parentheses here are set right. So that's two in the start. And two in the end here, yeah, yes. So now we have it. Fast rebound front deviation. I'm going to say OK to this. And close. And I want to add that then to my suspension charts here. I want to go into my, I think I have some instability checks here. Yeah. So I want to add a new. 
this instability checks are for fast rebound speeds of the front and rear. When the rear uh, rebound speed is higher than the front speed, it means the car is stable over bumps and will understeer over bumps. When the fast rebound in the front is faster than in the rear, it means the car will oversteer on bumps. So this is the proportions of when the car is understeering and oversteering at different speeds over bumps. So we add a time distance graph here. We then add the channel. And as we know it had deviation in it, I'm just gonna search. I'm just gonna search here in the channel add for deviation. I'm gonna double click that orange, that's fine. And now we have the standard deviation of the rebound speed in front. So this means that the standard amount of difference between the minimum and maximum uh, rebound speeds is 38.5 millimeters per second. So this is the deviations that are most common in in the in the rebound speeds. I guess there are if if you use your you need to you need to perhaps use your imagination to figure out how to use these step functions. Um, but what I would like you to see is what happens if we take uh, this graph here and edit it, and then we remove this, and instead we add some of the step mean channels that I had. Um, which is uh, on a rebound name, I think. Fast rebound rear mean and front mean. Connect both here. So front is uh, as this one is the one that can't be higher. We're gonna select that and make it red instead. So. When red is under green, it's okay. And when we make the red green, so as you can see, uh, the rear uh, average uh, suspension traveling speed is higher, or rebound speed is higher than um, in the front. So this means the car is uh, mostly stable. Um, you could do this also on the bump speed, and you could use them to get these two uh, graphs as, as as close as possible. If you have a car with a 50-50 weight distribution, this would make the car neutral while steering. Uh, this is a car with the front engine, so we definitely want to uh, make sure that the car is under steering when we are doing uh, uh, corners and bumps. So that's the stat functions, um, and I just discovered them and started playing with them. I hope uh, you found something here, and I hope you get some uh, ideas for um, for how you can set up Motec with these new uh, statistical functions. I know it's it's not easy getting ideas, but uh, what you need to think of is uh, how the car is behaving what's triggering that behavior and how can we set up uh, measuring points for that. So have fun with it and uh, see you next time. YouTube.com slash